Yo, I have 48 hours fishing in front of me and I'm going to be fishing my favourite style of fishing and that's margin fishing. I'll be fishing two rods only and both rods will be no more than one metre out from the bank. The river in front of me is 160 metres wide but despite being that wide I'm going to be fishing real close in. Experience tells me and I've been fishing these rivers for a long time now is that 90% of the carp will be patrolling either the near side bank or the far side bank. All the natural food is real close in. All the crayfish, they love the boulders, and the boulders are real tight to the bank. All the trees which have fallen over the years are full of crayfish. So the, the carp just patrol real tight to the bank. Another reason as well is that a lot of these rivers in France have a, have a lot of big catfish, and the catfish prefer the deeper water, the middle of the river, and um, they just grow up um, learning to avoid the catfish. So even though they get to like 30 40 pounds these carp where there's no chance of a carp, uh, catfish eating them just a primeval instinct they're going to avoid the catfish that's another reason why they avoid the deeper water i also see a lot of lads turn up they rock up and they're casting 30 40 yards out or they fish in the middle of the river they put a big bed to bait out and the results are real poor and um, the, the reason, main reason is they're fishing too far out so this 40 hour session hopefully I'll show you um, how i approach the margin fishing and um, hopefully we catch one or two carp. Yeah. I'm just going to swing this bait, literally, just un underneath these branches. It's literally one yard out, a couple of yards out, if that. Oh, perfect, that. Beautiful. <laughs> Little scoops of maize. Beautiful. A few boilies. Perfect. Oh yeah. Oh, no, 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 Morning fish. That's a little one. Good fun, though. Oh, I was well, was well away then. I struggled with my sleep last night for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that's a little thing. Yeah, a lovely way to wake up to. Oh. Little uh, miniature beautiful river cap. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, look at that little bar of gold. Oh, yes, beautiful. 
but it's not very old this fish but it's only a couple years old Nice. That seems more than nice that. So this is the perfect near side margins I'm talking about. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm literally only uh, one meter off the bank here. I've got four or five foot depth of water. These carp just love patrolling. It's full of natural food it is. If you approach these river margins UK style fishing wise you turn up with 15 pound line, size 6 hooks, you're just going to get smashed up every single time. These river carp are just total beasts, they're monster fish, they've got so much strength. So, you got to, if as long as you approach it right with the right terminal tackle, the right strength for gear, and that's hopefully what I'm going to show you in the next um, 40 hour session, you've got every chance of landing him. Right, so, I push the GoPro under the water and you'll be able to see the boulders which I'm talking about, but the crayfish love and the um, the tree roots which are full of zebra mussels. Let's go under. Three fish just from that down this edge in the last 24 hours, and this is the rig that's doing the treat. In fact, this rig's caught all three fish. The same hook, I've not changed the hook, I've given it a little sharp in between the fish, but it's still good for another another couple of another couple of carp, I reckon, as well. Now I've got a length, it's probably about one meter of lead core, and that's um it's, it's all, everything is real strong stuff. That's um it's actually a hundred pound lead core that. And I've got a 45 pound shot leader. And then um, because I'm fishing real close in, I'm not really fishing past my shot leader, but I, I've got a 50 pound braid on the other side of the shot leader. The hook links, actually an 80 pound catfish link, um, which I can actually splice it. So even though it's 80 pound, it's actually still quite a neat hook link. That particular hook is the um, Carder Curve. Uh, Double, double X strength and um, quite a, a lovely hook it is. Um, the way it six, sits on a combi rink, it gives quite an aggressive, um, a, a very aggressive turn it does. And it, yeah, it's um, once that goes into a cow's mouth, it, it doesn't usually come out. It's, um, it's a cracking way. That's a, a normal 26 mil bottom bait and 18 mil pop up. Just ensures I'm not getting um, breamed out or you can't avoid them for fishing a river. You can't really avoid the chub, unfortunately, because their mouths are just as big as a cat mouths. But this particular stretch is not that many chubs, so yeah, it's done the business. That three cap so far, and um, hopefully I get another one on that. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I absolutely love margin fishing. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to place my bait down this edge here. It's literally. About one yard off the bank. What I've done, I've deliberately not fished today. I've chucked some bait out this morning, a bit of maize, a few boilies, and I've just left it um, with no lines there. Now it's difficult sometimes to actually sit on your hands, not actual fish, but sometimes it's the most beneficial way of catching a fish. So I'm just going to swing this out. Absolutely beautiful that. Perfect. When you're fishing in the edge like I've been catching those fish the last 24 hours, I always ensure the fish can't see me so I always try and bivvy up away from the water's edge. My bivvies must be 10 metres behind my rods and in between 
big set of trees and the water. So there's no way those fish are going to hear me or see me at all. It's just good fishing practice really that. Fully mosquitoed up net. Last thing I want is those mosquitoes <laughs> absolutely destroying me, which you can do this time of year. All right, let's try and catch another one. Well, it's about half six in the morning. I've just started getting liners on that margin rod. So a fish has moved in. And um, I'm expecting it to rattle off any minute. Come on. I'd love a fish right now. A beautiful morning. Absolutely awesome. Been getting liners on that. Oh, it come off then. Been getting liners on that for the last half hour. <laughs> off it rattle. Ooh. Don't get in the snag. Don't let it go in those snags. Type strong fish. That's exciting. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Well, it doesn't get much better than this, playing hard fighting carp, first thing in the morning on a beautiful river. Yeah, because I literally caught this fish dust down this edge here. And you know when they're about, because you start getting liners when they turn up. So I was like, full of anticipation. <laughs> it's just going to rip off in a minute, and there it did. Let's be careful, there is tree roots down there. Oh, see, I'm trying to get those tree roots. You just got to give him mega force to stop him away, turn him round. Oh yes, 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 yes. What's a nice dark one that. Oops, I can't overlight. Oh, beautiful fish that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh it's a trouble. It's a good overlight. No, 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 no. Where's it gone? Oh, yep, it's free. Come on, I'll have this now. Go on, get out of there. What a fish, what a beautiful fish. Yes! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yes, look at that. Look at that for a fish. What a beautiful river coming that is. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> well, here's this beautiful, um, beautiful carp, which um, just came in that brilliant battle from the bank. I literally took it from, literally it was under arm swing, it was about five yards out. 
just down the edge and uh, have a look at it that magnificent fish yeah it's a typical long lean fighting machine river carp how nice is that look at that sun glistening those scales absolutely beautiful fish beautiful fish yes <laughs> that is a proper river carp and I'm going to put it back cheers what a great way to finish a trip what a magnificent carp that was. Ended up catching four carp in total, 48 hours fishing. Every single carp was caught within one meter of the bank. It, it literally is one of my favorite ways of fishing. You just can't beat it. Two fish caught in the night time as well. Brilliant session. Cheers.